Yo, Crep La Familia, what's good? It's your boy Hanil, aka Heavy Kicks, back once again at Relentless number five. And this week, we're taking a first look at the Nike Flyknit Racer University Red. I just want to say a big heartfelt thank you to everybody who's been subscribing to the channel, watching all the videos, the interviews, the Crep Junkie talks to, the events. We appreciate all you guys showing us love. We just hit two years, two years fam. It's been a long road, but you know, we're gonna try and continue to bring you that dope Crep content. Now, as far as the Crep's concerned, this trainer, I've been sleeping on it for about five years, like, five years I've been sleeping on this trainer because when you look at it in pictures, it's like, eh, it's, it's okay, it's decent. But when I got this in hand, totally changed my mind. This first made its appearance at the London 2012 Olympics, which seems like a lifetime ago. And since then we've seen flying it on all kinds of models. We've seen it on the Air Force One, the Air Max, the Luna, and of course the Kobe 9 Elite as well. And Going back to the model that originally did it, you can really, really appreciate all the tech that went into it. Remember, this this was like what they brought out to take over from Flywire. It's dope in its own right. Like, you look at the tow box, you've got your support where, you know, where you mostly need it, of course, being a marathon trainer. You've got the dense support where it weaves in tight, then you've got your mesh parts where you want breathability. So definitely tech was at the forefront of this trainer. You go right around, you got it on the heel counter where it tightens up and around the collar, where it's all pretty tight. But other than that, it's pure breathability. Which brings me to my next point. This is a summer crepe. This is a holiday crepe. You go in Marrakesh or you go in Magaluf or wherever, them hot countries, this is the crepe you want. This ain't really a crepe to be wearing around in London weather because even if you work with a sock, trust me, you're gonna have a bad time, especially if the rain hits you. So, you know, I'm loving it. It's got zoom in the heel, um, not full zoom base, but it's got, you know, a little bit of foam in the middle, very lightweight, again, very comfortable, but if you got one of them fat feet, like your boy, I got a wide foot and it does feel a bit like, you know, squeezing off your foot, but the fabric does loosen up and open up. So it does get a bit comfortable, but a lot of people I know who've got wide foot, such as myself, have complained about that. Um, but other than that, dope trainer. Now, a lot of you might not care about this detail, but for all my sneak geeks out there, here's an interesting one for you. When you look on the outsole, this is called your waffle skin outsole. And basically, this is a throwback to Nike's early, early days when they first got into making running trainers and they actually designed like a prototype using a waffle iron with rubber. That, that's how they actually made the tread for the original uh, marathon run that they created all those years ago. So it's a nice touch for them just to bring that whole idea and concept back to a modern day marathon run. I'm gonna be looking to cop a couple more colorways of this and add it to the collection still. And if you go for it, you know, when you get up close again, you see like how those fabrics interweave with all the different colors, you know, Again, it's very straightforward. It's, if anything, the most complex thing about this is the way the damn colors intermingle anyway. You know, because it's all a one piece upper. You know, there's no panels on it. Um, you know, you've got the, the, the red and the black going right down into a solid red on the lateral side. And it goes around into a mango color with hits of black and subtle hits of red on the medial color. It's dope, definitely a nice touch. Got your 3M on the heel tab. Other than that, you're good to go. Also, you've got your branding on the tongue. And listen, like I said, I'm a big guy. They don't call me heavy kicks for nothing, but one thing I like about it, it's got racing <laughs> on the inside, man. I ain't gonna be running no marathon soon, though. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is this something that you're gonna be picking up or, you know, is it just not your favorite lightweight runner? What lightweight runner do you think's running the table at the moment? Let us know in the comments below. 
And until then, it's your boy Hanil, aka Heavy Kicks. Peace.